this. And we are back. So now we have Wasim with us. Uh, and he'll make a short introduction. So we're still in Austin. It's the Edge AI Foundation 2025 in Austin. We're talking about Edge AI. We're talking about it in relationship with IoT. Right now, Wasim is with us. Wasim, how are you? Yeah. Uh, it's very pleasure to be with you again. Thanks, Thanks for having uh, So where, is, where are you from? Like, I'm originally from Belgium. Okay. Brussels. Okay. So I was growing up and I, uh, I live on my life. Okay. Yeah, at the moment I'm in Spain. I work for Oracle. Okay. I'm a software engineer there. Okay. And I'm co founding my uh, company at the moment okay. called uh, Gaia. And we have uh, several products. We build some models for uh, uh, edge, uh, edge components. Okay. And, and uh, we have also a, a very nice product that we are launching for companies. It's okay. called Snipe Search. Okay. It's more or less a search engine for companies. Okay. It's, uh, it has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of benefits for companies. Okay. More or less, it's uh, very private. It's 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 it's, it's let the company control where the data go. Okay. From their employees and you know, from their also uh, associates and so on. Okay. Meaning it's it's it's, it's more or less a search engine powered by AI. It's it has a, a behavior of uh, open source intelligent detective. Okay. More or less, it's that what. The yeah. paradigm that we came up with, that's why we call it sniping, because we are sniping the data. Okay. Exactly. Interesting. It's really efficient. It's sustainable. Yeah. Exactly. It's very efficient, sustainable. Okay. It's maybe 25 times more cheaper than anyone in the market at the moment. Okay. Meaning that we are using less resources than other one. Okay. And this is the part that we are very proud of. Okay. Nice. And also we are respecting a lot of privacy mm -hmm. about the company data and everything. And okay. everything is on our premise. Meaning that your data is in a good hand with us. Okay, like that, like that. And uh, we discussed that, but I think we'll do a deep, deeper dive, you know, in a following episode, just the two of us, looking yeah. at demos and so on, uh, you know, putting that in the context of IoT and Edge AI. Uh, so actually, we are at that Edge AI event. Exactly. I'd love for you to tell me more, why did you come here? We're talking about AI. Many people consider AI as being Gen AI, but we are here to tell them it's not just about Gen AI. AI is about multiple type of type of AIs, and Edge AI itself is a big portion of that, bringing models down to devices, to tinier devices, optimizing the models and so on. So, tell me about you know your journey into Edge AI, why you're here today, like talking about these new companies, but how does it relate to Edge AI? You say more or less like with Edge AI, it's a very nice story that we have with the foundation. Yeah, we started as students, we were presenting some papers and so on. Yeah. And uh, after some different meetings with some different people, and we have like a lot of connection here, that's why I encourage everyone to come to this kind of event. It has been uh, really uh, a source of information, of knowledge, which is be a source of connecting with people. And we have the opportunity with the Edge Foundation to create the knowledge and AI on uh, foundation knowledge yeah. in order to give access to Everything that's related to AI on the edge yeah. to the people okay. that are interested by this. Okay. And actually, Snipe Search started in this. Okay. We started by applying and creating the knowledge, the knowledge AI. Yeah. And after this, we said, okay, we started with the basic, basic let's say, structure that can write, which is the government generation. And after we said, okay, we have this lab, which worked quite well, it's a chat mode that people can use. On the website on the HIA Foundation. Yep. And after you see, okay, you can build something better. Better than the new market. Yeah. And we, we came up with this idea of saying, okay, people generally don't want to have directly the answer. They want to have the answer, but they want to check from where the answer came from and who told and who is talking about this. Yeah, yeah. It's sourcing is a very important stuff mm -hmm. for this. Even thought the human when he's uh, trying to, to create a report, one of the big criteria is the sourcing. Okay. from where he bring his information and so on. Then we said, okay, we will try to bring something better than the digital automatic okay. generation. That's why we came up to say, okay, we need to create an intelligent search engine. Okay. Therefore, we invested all the knowledge that you had from the edge okay. yeah, from this show. Okay. Yeah. And we are very grateful for them because they were very cooperative and they help us a lot with the sharing all this information with us and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. even more promoting us. It's, it's, yeah. it's very, very nice. And we, create, we said, okay, how can, you, how can we 
give access to this information the best way to the yeah. users. And actually, we came with the search engine that is intelligent, meaning we yeah. indexed all the data. Okay. And we came with a novel approach that is scooping data. Okay. More or less, the AGI Foundation, when you go and ask information on the AGI Foundation, you don't want to know information about, I don't know, brands or, or other stuff that are not related yeah. to this. And we said, okay, we don't need all the information on the internet. We need specific information that are related to Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we thought, okay, we need to create a model that is able to target that kind of information. Okay. Yeah. And we came up after two or three months of hard labor, yeah. we came up with a model that is able to query any search engine that you any search engine that you have, that is Google, that is Baidu, that is uh, Yahoo, yeah, yeah. whatever you have. He's able to construct the query that will match exactly the information that you want. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you an example. If you want to check about the next event about the next event of the AJI Foundation, yeah. you will construct a query by targeting the AJI Foundation website, okay. the event page, and you will scrap all this information and he will uh, ingest it and he will construct the current information for you. He will bring all the sources and say to you, okay. I have all this information that is coming from that source. I'm just exposing it to you. I'm not saying anything about it. Mm -hmm. You have, as user, to take the final decision. Okay. And I go back to different different sources, and I bring you different sources, and you can take the decision. Because the human have different way of interpreting information. Bias is part of this. Yeah, and, sure. And the bias cannot be cannot be like corrected or targeted by a software. It needs to be the human and the final end user that we have to take the decision. Yeah, yeah. And that's what the innovation is coming with Snapchat. Also, we came up with a lot of stuff with like the fact checking policy. Mm -hmm. The fact checking policy is more or less an algorithm that we came up with and is like we take all the information that you have and you can say, okay, me, I, for me, the truth is if every if the majority of the sources that I uh, that, I, that, yeah, that yeah. I have gathered say the same thing, okay. If all the sources say the same thing, like I have six sources that say A and I have three sources that say B, yeah, I will trust the sources that say A, okay, okay, yeah, because there are more than this. Yeah, yeah. But this can be customizable, mm -hmm. meaning if you don't think that the truth is that. I don't know, you think that some authors, you have a list of authors, a set of websites, that you think that these people are really, really trust, yeah, they yeah. say always the truth yeah. about your subject, you can say, okay, whenever things come from there, I'm sure 100% that they need you. Okay. And you can bias the model to say, okay, everything that is not coming that yeah. true, yeah. you can say, okay, I don't is it, is it a way of uh, sorting out the hallucination that we see in Gen AI, which is exactly. like kind of, yeah, exactly. totally. Because you're in, in, interestingly, you're you're injecting into something that's supposed to be neutral a bias, which is very human, exactly to make it better. Yeah, that's interesting. That's yeah, interesting. because yeah. bias is part of 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 the human decision. Yeah, sure. And the bias is like it's not an objective yeah concept. It's a subjective concept. Yeah, but it's based on experience. It's, it's based, based on experience. On, it's based on what you perceived and lived. Exactly. So maybe you've been exposed to things that were not real, but still, it's yeah. based on that, right? Exactly. So. I completely agree with you, and I think you put a very nice point on this. It's like, it's not to the software to the decision is always in the it's still, it's still real. And now AI, and now we are coming with agenting workflows uh -huh. that will be implemented in in, in many workforce in companies, yeah, and we always need a human decision and sure. sure, we can optimize all the chain yeah. by putting AI, yeah. But for security and for also yeah. truthfulness, you need a human that yeah. So I it's interesting because I had a conversation with someone like early on today, and he's talking about bringing AGI to space, where there's no human. Hmm. But still, that's interesting because in this concept, the idea was to say AGI will do a lot of the work to extract insight and information out of raw data coming from tons of sensors. But it's not meant to make the decision 
it will bring the information needed for a human to, to say yes, go or no go or whatever, right? And that's interesting because it's used as a tool that will filter, analyze the data and provide it in a digestible way for a human to make that final decision. Exactly, I completely agree with you on this point. We need to see AJI as components that help us take the decision. And one of the things that is very, very important to take into account and what AJI bring is the control, security, and the privacy mm-hmm. of your own decision. Yeah. It's more or less what you say is I can customize something that behaves like yeah. I want, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. I can scale it yeah. to several components that work in parallel, bring me the information, yeah. and I centralize everything on my own decision. Interesting. I will still challenge a bit of that in a way, in the following way. I'm coming from the world of embedded, mm-hmm. where the ultimate goal is automation, where we want to automate a lot of systems. And, and we, there's things that can be automated. Safety, security, precision, quality of things that can be automated to a certain extent, right? To a certain extent, right? So there's going to be part of things that will be automated. AGI will contribute to, to make big, big good decisions on things that can be automated. But I agree with you, we still have an oversight that will be human one. And it could start with the configuration of what are the parameters that will be used for that automation, right? Mm-hmm. The parameters could be, don't kill a human. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be, this is a safety zone. Uh, and the criteria are, if someone enters without a safety hat, without gloves, you stop everything, right? That's the automation part. The human part is configuring that automation by deciding what criteria are the ones that need to be implemented to warrant your safety, right? I completely agree with you on all the that last point. We can't identify all the workflow that we have. Yes. Because, like you said, there is a lot, a lot of decisions that have been taken by the human. And more or less, if you take safety, quality, Every company don't have the same criteria. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. And the fact that you don't have the same criteria and that you have like the same rules, the same rules, it makes the decision not the same as you. If you change the model, the model will always came up with the same thing. Yeah. And it's not true in the business side. The business side is not always the same thing. And everyone is taking a different approach. If you want to target B2B and business companies, we need to take this in account. They have their yeah. own philosophy and they have their own things that are important and things that are less important. Sure, sure. I like that. Well, Sim, that's awesome. Thanks also for your insight. There's like so much we're going to talk about, but we have other people who want to bring in. Yeah, sure. So we'll have you on the IT show again. Yeah, we'll have a little demo. But I will a little demo and I will challenge you to talk to IoT people as well. You know, because yes. We're well, talking about search engine and things like that, but these have applications in the realm yeah. of internet things, and that's definitely the conversation. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Yeah, many thanks, Amy. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, see you soon. Yeah.